Hi Bobo Mamas. I thought I'd do a video today about the inner critic. The inner critic or in a mean girl or in a bully is one of the voices that we have going around our heads. We have many voices and this is the thing to remember. It's perfectly normal to have an inner bully. We all have one. She's never going to go away. What we want to try and do is manage her so that we don't over identify with constantly feeling like we've done a rubbish job because this inner critic is always ruling all of the voices in our head. So when I say all of the voices, that means we all have many voices. We have um, the saboteur, we have the protector, we have the inner child. We have an inner wise woman. Lots of different voices that are competing with each other for airspace. That gets pretty confusing, which is probably why the Buddhists said that we have a monkey mind, because it's quite noisy in there if you can't distinguish one from the other. So the first thing to do is to distance yourself from these voices and understand that these voices are just that. They're part of your unconscious. You are not any one of these voices. You are the observer that hears them. So you need to take a step back and observe these voices for what they are. Oh, that's my critic. Oh, that's my inner child that wants to come out and play. Oh, that's my inner child that's feeling scared right now. Oh, my wise woman is feeling confident and calm and in control, because she kind of always is. She's like a queen. Um, so it's about observing that inner critic and going, oh, that's my inner critic again. That's not me. That's not me saying that I'm doing a bad job, that I'm so lazy, that I never get anything right, that you always get things wrong. That other person's done it better than you. Why can't you be more like her? That is just a voice. Often they're associated with the voice from the past. Um, it can be a past teacher or just someone that was critical to us in when we were small or a parent or anything like that from the past and we can appropriate that voice and then it becomes part of us. So observe that voice, distance yourself from it, realize that that's what it is. It's just one of your voices. And thirdly, give it a name. So I've called mine in the past bullying Brenda, or you could have nasty Natalie. I don't know why alliteration seems to work, but it seems to make it more funny than it, than its impact can be. So give it a name. And then you can try and start to talk back to it. So it's quite difficult at first identifying who's talking and who's saying what. But the more you do it, the more you'll realise, oh, that's my inner protector saying that. Oh, that's my saboteur saying that. And it'll become a lot easier to identify them. Give them all a name. So if you've got Nasty Natalie, for example, the next stage would be to talk back to her. We don't want to shut them up. That just gives them more power. We want to acknowledge their voice. They're part of us, after all. But um, let them realise that they're not the only voice that we have and that perhaps their voice isn't useful at that time. So, for example, say you're feeling really tired and you're like, I really don't want to go swimming tonight or go to yoga. I'm, I, I, want, I want to stay at home. Nasty Natalie might go, oh, you're so lazy. Other people manage to have energy in the evenings. What's wrong with you? Why can't you just go? You're going to get fat. That's what always happens. You always give up. You're always giving up. You've no got, not got any willpower. Where's your determination? You're just rubbish. Blah, 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 blah. You can then say, once you've gone, oh, I'm so rubbish. I'm so, hold on. I'm not rubbish. Nasty Natalie is saying that I'm rubbish. I don't need to identify with her. I can talk back to her. And you can say, Nasty Natalie, that's not helpful right now. I appreciate that you think I might be rubbish and that you are reminding me to have a sense of determination and willpower. But right now, actually, I really want to look after myself. I'm feeling tired and it feels like the best thing to do to stay at home. So thank you for your input, but I'm not gonna follow it right now. Sounds kind of weird talking to yourself, I know, but it works, trust me, I've done it. The more you can do this, the more you can practice speaking back to this voice, it lessens its power, it lessens the hold it has over you, and you become less and less identified with it, and more and more identified with that calm, serene, together, resilient place in you that is the observer of your monkey mind. Good luck.